Welcome to APA Quick Hints in Text Citations. I'm Logan Rath, one of the librarians in Drake Library. An in text citation is a way to give credit to a idea that is not your own within the body of your paper. It uses parentheses and points the reader to the correct entry in your reference list. There are three basic parts to an in text citation the author, the date, and the page number. Author and date always stay together. Page number only gets used when you quote someone. There are four steps. First, create the reference entry. Here's a journal article that we'll be using for this example. I need to make it match APA format. I know it's a journal article, and I know this is the form. So here is the format we would use for our APA reference of a journal article. Now I take that reference entry and create an in-text citation. I need the author's names and year when I'm paraphrasing. So we have spits and spits, comma 1990. If I have an in-text quote, I am going to add the page number preceded by P period if it's one page and PP period if there's more than one page. If I have three or more authors, I use the first author's last name followed by et al. Now I get to use the in-text citation in my paper. There are two rules. First, keep your authors and dates together in text. And the page number only goes at the end of the quote and is only used if there is a quote. If you don't quote anyone directly, you don't need a page number. This is how I might use this quote in a sentence. And it has a signal phrase to introduce the quotation. Because my signal phrase doesn't have the author's names, I put the entire in-text citation at the end of the quote. Notice the period goes at the very end of the parentheses because the in-text citation is part of the sentence. If I use my authors to introduce the quote, I break up the year and the page number. And notice the period is still at the end of the sentence. When I'm summarizing or paraphrasing, I write the idea in my own words. If I just swap out some of the words for synonyms, that might be plagiarism, so be careful. Two rules with summarizing and paraphrasing. The first rule is the same. If you use the author's name and text, you have to keep the year next to it. And there are no page numbers. Here's an example of a paraphrase from that article. And here's where I would put my in-text citation. Notice the period still goes after the in-text citation. If I use my author's names in the sentence that I'm using to paraphrase, I keep the date right next to it. Sometimes things aren't perfect when citing in text. It's not always an exact science. If there's no person listed as the author, you might have an organization or a company. If you don't find either of those, be careful about using the source because it's probably not scholarly. But if you still do need to use it, start with the title and then place the year after it. If there's no date, look around. You might find the date at the bottom of a web page or in the URL. If you can't find either, use N period D period for no date. If there's no page number, you simply count the paragraphs and give the paragraph number instead of a page. When the author cites another person, you should try to find the original source. But if you can't, you can use the original author and year, followed by as cited in and the source you did consult. Here's an example. And lastly, when in doubt, look it up. Even librarians need to look up how to use APA format correctly. I like the APA Style Guide site to get help when creating reference list entries, or I check the publication manual of the American Psychological Association.